My heart goes out to the people who lost loved ones and the missing citizens of Japan. This experience was scary, but we're quite grateful. Pray for Japan and let's hope we can save those who are trapped right now and clean up the streets quickly. This is raw footage of our experience with Typhoon number 19, Hagabus. We share some tips for prepping, although it depends on your home, location, and situation. Hi guys, so I decided to start a vlog on my phone because I wanted to show you guys what it's like to prepare for a typhoon. Um, first of all, I went grocery shopping today. I didn't video that, but I did go grocery shopping and I still feel like I need more food. So tomorrow after work, that is what I'm going to do is get a little bit more food. Yuji just went to the grocery store to get water and there was none. So that's very, very rare. That never happens. Cup noodles are like wiped out. It's really insane because, first of all, like my diet is very strict. I cannot have cup noodles. That being said, tomorrow is a day of preparation. So basically, you're gonna see us prepare for this huge typhoon. I think it's supposed to come Saturday. Some people are saying Sunday, but I am terrified because the last typhoon was really bad and it sounds like this one's worse. And uh, I hope that it's not in the middle of the night because I'd rather have it happen during the day so I'm not trying to sleep, I guess. This is the day in the life of preparing for a typhoon. All right, so if you look here, we have our poles which are going to be taken down because that'll fly off and hit our window. I actually might bring these inside. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Up here, this is what happened. Those will probably be gone <laughs> next. <laughs> These are the next victims right here. Hopefully our generator does not get destroyed because those things fall off and can hit the ground, which is kind of scary. So looking at the clouds through my window, it's pretty bleak outside. We're gonna see how the day goes. I have work till late. It's supposed to rain a lot, so we'll see what happens. So I'm walking to the supermarket now and I'm gonna go check it out and see if there's <laughs> anything left. But I'm gonna meet Yuji there. I look like shit because I just got off of work and my hair is a mess because it's humid and rainy, and windy, as you can hear. I don't even know if you can hear me, but that is what is happening right now. So we're gonna go check it out. Here? I guess. It's there. I mean, you can do it. What? I, oh, I don't know, babe. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, toilet paper, too. Toilet paper? Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Let's get a small one. I was so worried about the toilet paper. <laughs> no, it's like. Well, maybe people are going to be like shitting themselves when it comes and then they need a lot of toilet paper. There's vegetables here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Noodle section. Japanese people buy a noodle for emergency. I know, I really wanted some bread. No more bread. <laughs> Probably. Seventy dollars. <laughs> Seventy dollars. Look at the sky. There's like still red there. It's so crazy. 
It's still super red. Okay, Yuji is bringing in the bike. This is what you have to do in a typhoon. Because our bikes will be blown away. <laughs> I have one more. Look at him be a man. Should we straighten this out? Uh, sure, yeah. I'm gonna put your bike here and Genka. Okay. So okay. There should be enough space, right? It's smaller. Right? You brought my bike in. <laughs> oh, we gotta do it again. I forgot to film. What? <laughs> cool. <laughs> You're so cute. Is okay. it locked? Okay. Let's go. I'm home and I'm a mess because. It is pouring rain and my hair is getting floofy. Anyway, I'm gonna be cooking some tacos because we always cook tacos in our video, you know. It's so weird. <laughs> like I literally, we don't eat that many tacos, but like when I'm filming, we're making tacos. <laughs> How do you feel? Are you ready? It's okay, as long as we have we Yeah, okay. I what are you so cooking? Bad. What are you cooking? Tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Looks great. Yes. Is it? Yeah, everything is sold out. Whoa. Yeah, that was like flashlight. No batteries. No gas, no water, no everything. Disneyland will be closed for the first time in 35 years for a typhoon. Oh my goodness. I'm like scared. We are good for a week. And everyone's going to be like, why are there bananas in the fridge? Banana in the fridge. Gross. Okay, so the typhoon is really close to Japan now. It is 7 a.m. Saturday. It's coming. Are you ready? No, we didn't prepare yet. <laughs> no? If I don't survive, can you find this video? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. It is the next morning and I just woke up, obviously, and um, we're watching the news right now, and they're talking about all the places that are evacuating and all the places that um, are going to hit, be hit hard, and I guess it's going to be hit hard mostly on, like, the other side, but still, like, we are, like, living kind of near closest, closest to the water, so, like, I'm a little concerned, um, but they're talking about you know, all the trains being closed down and uh, what to do and preparation and where the storm is at. So we haven't prepared much yet. So we're gonna do that this morning and I'm gonna try to finish a video before it hits. Um, it's supposed to be really bad around 3 p.m. So that's what we're gonna be waiting for. And I'm gonna eat breakfast and then we're gonna start preparing and getting set, so. Wish us luck. If I had to choose a breakfast that's gonna be my last, this is it. <laughs> okay. I'm all shaved. I'm about to shave. <laughs> and I'm gonna be ready for typhoon. That's, that's what you're preparing for? <laughs> you wanna be nice and shaved? Yes. Just in case? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're all prepared. Look at our cereal. Look at all of this. <laughs> Crap, we got a lot of food, so we good. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to be charging everything. I'm gonna be charging my camera because I wanna film this and I think it's kind of important for your information. And uh, basically, the one thing that you wanna do is charge everything, like charge your phones, charge your uh, computers, charge 
anything that you need charged <laughs> like because if the electricity goes out you're freaking screwed so I actually have to charge this somehow so this is like five charges right here so I'm gonna charge this plug this in to my outlet and we're gonna have five charges on this uh, portable charger so wow look at this it's pouring whoa the wind uh oh, yeah, uh -oh. The wind is getting okay we gotta prepare <laughs> all right we gotta take the wind shoot the, the trees. <gasps> this isn't even here yet wait since it's kind of safe i'm just gonna kind of open yeah. it in 12 hours it will be wow oh my god holy crap Holy crap, baby, we gotta get going. Yeah. Okay, so our lights just flickered <laughs> and it's not even here. <laughs> oh my God. It, it didn't even touch down and it's this bad, like, what? What? This is insane. It's, um, the, this website, is telling that um, it basically says taping your window is a waste of time and energy. It provides little strength to the glass and no protection against flying devils. Debris. 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 You don't pronounce the S. <laughs> Once a hurricane warning has been issued, you should shutter your doors and windows for protection. So we don't have shutters. <laughs> also, it says taping windows waste preparation time does not stop windows from breaking. In a hurricane and does not make cleanup easier <laughs> in fact taping windows may create larger shards oh. of glass that can cause serious injuries okay well i guess we're not well, breaks it does i guess we're screwed yeah. then <laughs> yep. i think we should bring shoes upstairs just in case shoes yeah because when we sleep in say if the window breaks like uh the, all the glasses are going to be like you know, yeah, everywhere. Like, oh, everywhere. So I hope that doesn't shoes. break. I'm like freaking out. He's very calm in this typhoon. <laughs> He's enjoying uh, playing Overwatch with a uh, teddy bear. I love this game. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> what if I can play this game for a while? So it doesn't look too bad right now. It actually looks kind of like it's getting better. Anyway, I was gonna say that these uh little metal yeah because like the metal things are inside so this is like glass and then inside are these little grid things so if you have windows like this they're more strong than like a regular window i'm putting fingerprints all over it but inside this grid is like a metal so it keeps the glass from like spraying everywhere if it were to break so they say that if you tape the windows it's not good because it'll create larger shards of glass if it were to break so they say to put cardboard on your windows which we didn't because of our window situation i think our windows are pretty strong they're like double double windows so it's actually better than like a regular plain window so we're not going to do anything about that but i should fill the bathtub up with water because if the water goes out or if the electricity goes out and we don't have water for a few days we can at least use some of it in the bathtub so, I'm gonna take off my socks because it's also a shower room. So we close this. This also has like the grids on the window, which is kind of nice. Um, so I'm gonna plug up the bath just in case. And we're gonna fill up the water. And then we'll have enough to like flush the toilet or, sorry, it's not focusing flush the toilet or like use it for other things so at this point a power shortage is more of a when and less than an if by the way people are speaking about it also a water cut off um so i'm gonna go ahead and pack a second bag which has things like clothes in case i have to stay somewhere and I don't know, like more things, maybe some noodles. <laughs> I've already fully charged my power bank, as in like my portable charger. So that's gonna be able to keep my phone alive for a bit. And then also the fairy lights here are actually battery run. So they will be able to turn on in case the lights 
turn off. I have a few bottles of water and also have the emergency water <laughs> in the bathtub. Oh my god. The door is open. Oh, babe, I'm whoa, getting whoa, wet. Whoa. Oh, okay. Stop! <laughs> hey, look at those, like, the uh, rooftops. It's like ours still have, like, three of them, but look at those. Like, they're well, all this whole oh thing's gonna be gone, so. <laughs> and this might be gone too. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, okay. <laughs> so it is 12 p.m. ish. I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm trying to finish this video before the power goes out. If it does at all, I'm kind of nervous about it, but I'm getting stuff done. And right now, the wind is kind of picking up. It's not too bad. I will laugh if this typhoon is not that bad. But um, yeah, it's just been kind of up and down. Like it's been super windy and then it stops and then super windy and then it stops. So it's just kind of like, but it's only 12.30 and it's not supposed to hit until this evening. So we'll see. So I'm about to upload my video and I'm going to schedule it for tonight and I'm going to start editing the video for today. It is almost through, it's almost 2.30, around 3 o'clock it should be getting stronger but I think the worst of it's going to be 6 p.m. to like 9 p.m. so I'm going to try to upload this. I definitely feel differently now than I did maybe like 10 years ago, but Same. now I'm like, oh yeah, no, I have to, this makes sense. Wow. Okay, great content. <laughs> <laughs> so this, it's so hard to focus because of the bars, but this sunroof is like coming off the hinges. <laughs> Don't think we'll be having this soon. <laughs> this will fly off as well. Oh man, it's so bad. So we're thinking this is going to be the worst it's going to get, which is weird because it's bigger than the other one. Huh? Whoa. What's wrong? What is this? Blackout. Blackout where? Kiba. In which part? The orange like or the more, Yeah. Maybe it won't be so bad then. It's getting worse and worse throughout the hours. I saw, I saw one guy walking around here. Yeah, what the heck? M my friend Rio was at the convenience store. He's like, why is it closed? <laughs> it was like an hour ago. I was like, what are you doing outside? <laughs> okay, we just had an earthquake at the same time of a typhoon. <laughs> I thought the, the house was going to go down from the typhoon, but it wasn't. It was an earthquake. The world, Japan is ending. Japan is ending. <laughs> earthquake and typhoon together. Oh my god. We are at 5. What do you call Level 5? Alarm? Oh, is it? That means do whatever to save yourself. Number 4 is evacuate. Like, we all need to evacuate. We are. I don't know, but basically, this is happening right here. We are here. <laughs> that was a very intense statement. <laughs> Protect your life and the people that you cherish. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> So it's picked up quite a bit. It's actually pretty bad. If you hold the glass, you can feel it. It's like pulsing. Oh my god. It feels so weird, doesn't it? Yeah. 
We're, we're so dangerous right now. All right. I think our windows are pretty strong though. I like think so too. this is pretty That's the metal thing. Pretty legit. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I think three more hours. Go away. I'm really shocked we still have electricity. There's so many places without electricity right now, like it's insane. <laughs> Making a steak during a typhoon. <laughs> Because we still have power, unlike a lot of other people. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Eating steak and pasta and broccoli during a typhoon. <laughs> this looks yummy. So far we're safe with our lights and Wi-Fi. I'm not really too scared because I'm so used to the sound. Oh! Wait, what? What's that? Something fell off and hit the glass. Be careful. Oh my god. No, like it sounded like a screw fell off or something. Oh, there's like a, <coughs> some parts fell down. Oh. It wasn't there. Oh, it might be there actually. Oh, boop. Oh, boop. Oh, boop. Oh. Holy shit. What fell? No, I think it was <coughs> this thing? the pipe was there. But there's like another. Oh uh, maybe. Oh. Maybe maybe that was there and it just moved. Yeah, that pipe was there over there. Yeah. Something hit the glass though. It's not look like at them. Angle. Look at those people and their storm doors. Look at them. Oh, wow, that's lucky. <laughs> we need that. Lucky. Lucky you. And the typhoon, typhoon, that's gonna scare the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm strong enough. Yay! Yay, yay! <laughs> we have light, we have gas, we have water, we have the internet. And I have candy, I have energy. Life is great. But all the combinis are closed. No. <laughs> I want to know what's happening. Should it's we go outside? Oh my god, can we? I think it's safe on this side. Yeah. We're going to die. I'm going to get blown away. Our situation wasn't horrible, it was scary, but there were other places that were affected greatly, and I thank my friends for sending me some of their footage, so let's check it out. really worried that because a really strong gust of wind will just blow in and knock my phone rather than my hand, um, which which would be what exactly what I deserve. But, uh, <laughs> oh wait. Incredibly uh, chill as it is in my part of the Tokyo, I definitely think it's awesome that Tokyo actually took the time to evacuate, shut down the trains, and keep people off the streets during this because while Shizuoka got it really bad, Tokyo could have gotten a lot worse, and it's, I mean, it's still ongoing. Right now, it looks like the rivers are the biggest issue, but I am glad that Tokyo took the time to properly prepare people. Oh, boy. <laughs> there we go. There's some wind.
Where is that? Whoa! Hachioji's not that far. Wow, okay, good. There's like nobody driving. Oh, wait, there's a truck. There's a little truck there. Why is he driving? It looks like he's gonna tip over. <laughs> That's insane. That's crazy. I'm like. He was not driving straight. No. Right? Whoa. Well, something fell. <laughs> Another panel from our, our balcony fell down. Why are there people outside? I feel like it's worse, baby. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Whatever that was. Oh my god. Look at the electric lines. We're gonna be out of power, there's no way. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not surprised I'm... if that happens. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's so nice though. Yeah, let's go check the river. Everything looks pretty normal <laughs> around here. We found the damage. <laughs> Rest in peace, bike. We are very grateful that there wasn't so much damage near us, but there are a lot of people stuck right now, and it's going to take a lot of time to fix the damage that Japan took due to the typhoon Hagibis. My heart goes out to everyone affected. We found a swing set. <laughs> this one didn't break, I'm surprised. It, with, it withstood the typhoon. Oh, it smells like the fruits, I think. This is gorgeous. Look at the little fruits up there. So pretty. There's an old guy there. So peaceful. Oh, that's beautiful, the pinwheels. Oh, so gorgeous. Look at that Buddha, it's beautiful. It has a baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, look how cute. What's the panda? They're so cute. It's the children. I remember hearing about this. It's like four children who have passed away. It helps the pinwheels help them uh, move on to the afterlife. Oh, okay. Cool. I love that. Their little hat stayed on. <laughs> that one blew off a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like cute. the pinwheels. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> this one's different. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Okay, so we just got back. Well, actually, we didn't just get back, but <laughs> um, we went for a walk, and we are very, very lucky that there was not so much damage. Yeah. Like, we're so lucky. There's so many people that are stuck on the ho in their house and, like, being picked up by helicopters and everything. But even in, like, Tokyo, like, I think there's a lot of Musashi Kosugi, you yeah. see? Yeah. The subways are filled with water. We're pretty lucky and grateful. Oh my gosh. Look at these people. Oh my god, they're just sitting there. <clears throat> they must be hungry. 
or thirsty? How are they getting, you know, go to the bathroom? Like, that's insane. That was the end of this experience. Thank you everyone for messaging us and making sure we were okay. Continue to show support to Japan and I'll see you guys in the next video.